How are things, Mr. Erdman? Things could be better, Lloyd. Nothing too serious, man. No, nothing serious. Just the continuation of the, uh, of the creative process. And also something that I've read. Music, sound, groove, rockabins, whiffs. Can't live with it. You can't live without it. Wise words, Lloyd. Wise words. So this is what I read. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. This could mean losing girlfriends, wives, relatives, and maybe even your mind. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on a park bench. It could mean prison. It could mean mockery. Isolation. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance of how much you really want to do it. And you'll do it. Despite rejection and the worst odds, it will be better than anything else that you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods and the nights will flame with fire. You will ride life straight to perfect laughter. It's the only good fight there is. So we've started and we're trying. Now we have Tim Muddyman and the Strange. So that is a little skit there, a little, little film called Bukowski, and uh, that's um, by uh, Tim Muddiman and The Strange. So yeah, that's uh, a nice little snippet of what those guys are about. These guys, they just released a, um, a new single, their debut single, called Wildwood Stone. And um, the man himself, Tim Muddiman, has, is just calling me now, so give me one second, I'll just pick that up. Hello, fella. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can now, yeah. Oh, You're wicked. Right? Hey, hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm cool, mate. I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank cool. you so much for, for phoning in. No problem. I didn't know you were going to play the audio of the film that we made. I know, I sorry to drop that on you. Uh, there was a no, little I... misunderstanding there. <laughs> no, it's cool. It sounded really good. I just put it on my phone. It sounded uh, really good as a audio uh, file on the radio. Yeah, I uh, when I played it, I thought, yeah, that that might have to be done. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> nice, nice work, Nick. Thanks, mate. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So yeah, you've been a busy boy. Yeah, ex you know what? Extremely busy extremely busy just been planning the next video today that we're shooting in Los Angeles in June um, it's just non-stop at the moment with the single campaign for Wildwood Stone which is, which is the single we released on the um, 4th of May so there's a lot of promotion to go alongside that you know and uh, we've done a couple of shows and we've got some more coming up so loads yeah really really busy Oh, good stuff. Yeah, it's just this Monday that came out. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's on, it's on all the digital stores. It's not available like a um, a pressed CD. It's just um, just digital only at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to tell the listeners where to find that after we play it. Cool. Yeah. There's plenty of ways that um, our listeners can get a hold of it. And yeah, I mean, it's, I, I think iTunes is where a lot of people buy it from, but it's, you know, Amazon and HMV and all that sort of, all the, all, all online digital stores, really, it's available. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let, let's just touch, touch base on, like, what you, who you are. Um, mm. So, you, you're very familiar, you're, you're, yeah, you're part of Gary Newman's band, right? Or you've been... Yeah. Yeah, no, I have been for, well, I first of all played with Gary in 2003, and um, then I didn't for a couple of years, and then I, then I joined full-time, really, as a full-time band member, and I've been doing it for 10 years solid now, and uh, just touring constantly. And um, who are The Strange, please? The Strange is my band. Right. And The Strange is not just the band, the, it's the... the the whole aesthetic and the, the art 
side of, of things that I want to explore more and more. I want to make more films. I want to make more sketch films and explore photography and, you know, just so many different things. So The Strange is just a, a name for my band members. I like and it. Also, and also for everything else that we're going to explore. You know, I want it to be more than just a band and I want it to be a really artistic well, it is going to be, and he's starting to be already, you know, a big artistic project, just as as well as a band. Yeah, I was very, um, um, what's the word? Yeah, I really, uh, like the, the video. That's very well shot. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, my friend Adam Fitch made that with me, um, Incline Creative Media, and I, I, I wrote all the story and, and, uh, had some help from a few people, and, yeah, so we were really pleased with how it came out. Yeah, I recommend um, you listeners to to check that out. That is on YouTube. That's right. That's it's right. Nice, it's uh, done really well uh, as well. It's only been out for three weeks and it's had thirteen thousand views. Blimey! So <laughs> really, 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 really good for a band. You know, a debut band where you know we're not particularly well known. Yeah, we are amongst. You know, I play in a few other bands as well amongst the you know people i've met along the way with that which is a good place to start i think and you know it's about us getting the word out there now so being on your radio show is a brilliant help well yes uh, it's it's brilliant to have the likes of you on my show mate yeah oh, thanks Cheers. a lot nick <laughs> that's great man thanks for having having me on your show <laughs> i appreciate it. um you you had a really good gig this weekend gone at proud gallery that's in right. camden that's right that was successful and yeah. uh, you're back there um at the end of um where are we yeah for the we are yeah we're in camden the beginning rocks. of may aren't we yeah camden rocks we're, 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 is, which is a big festival in camden takes over about 30 pubs and venues and i think they have over 200 bands playing and we're playing um on the 30th of may at the hawley arms um, at three, at four o'clock in the afternoon, and that that should be a cracking little gig. And is it, it's going to be a mission for you that weekend, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I'm I'm actually on tour with Pop Polite itself. I play guitar and produce Pop Polite itself, um, and it's it's the last day of a ten day tour. So I've got to leave Norwich the night before to play in London in the afternoon, then leave the London show and get to Leamington Spa for the last show. So it's. I don't know how. I don't know how uh, I could do with a helicopter or something. <laughs> Haven't quite got that sort of money. You know? Yeah, just get one of those. What you call them? Uh, Concord, if you can. Yeah, well, that's, that's, well, well, I'll put the word out. You know. Yeah, yeah. Your listeners have got one. <laughs> That'd be great. That would be pretty handy, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So tell, tell me, um, are you guys doing Glastonbury? No, no, we're, we're, we're keeping it really, you know, a few other festivals. Right. Um, but, and we've been offered a few other shows around the country and in London, um, and in different towns, but it's, it, it's difficult. I don't want, you know, I've been, because I've been touring for such a long time and done so many shows, I don't just want to do shows for the, for the sake of it. I mean, we haven't been offered Glastonbury because it's, it's way too early for us at the moment. Hopefully next year, um, you know, with two or three more singles and then an album um, just after Christmas, February time, hopefully we'll be aiming to play all the, as many main festivals as we can next year. So we're going to hold off, really, for major gigging until then or and hopefully we'll get support tours before that with other bands so we can build up our fan base oh that sounds good sounds like a plan yeah. yeah we've got it all planned down we really really have we're not you know we want to do everything right and uh you know give ourselves the best chance that we've got you've got to let it manifest and yeah, yeah. It, just, it takes time you know to, to, to get it out there it's got to brew and you know we've got to explore our our music and you know there's a lot of production and stuff that goes in the goes um, goes on behind the scenes which all needs needs to be done as well so um, 
you know, we'll see how it goes. But, you know, we're very, very determined <laughs> and it's, I'm going to make it happen if it kills me. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Cool. And so, yeah, it was, uh, on a bit of information with you guys that I received, um, you got lots of great, well, lots of uh, kind of, uh, well, an, an interesting mix of um, musical influence. Yeah. It's kind of gone into this. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it did touch on it being um, unpredictable, uncompromising, and refreshingly refreshingly different. That's yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I didn't want to make anything too out there or too experimental or and I also didn't want to do anything that's on trend and you know really think you know I, I could have thought well you know this let's make some money out of this band and go the, the easy route and ju just copy what's on trend and just put a little spin on that but I, I, I have no interest in that so I, I just use the main influences that, of music that I adore which is bands like Nine Inch Nails uh, Nick Cave, Fleetwood Mac, blues music, electronic, 80s hip hop, and rockabilly. I love rockabilly and rock and roll music. So I wanted to make a very modern version of all those influences. And, um, and I wanted to write song songs, you know, like songs you could play an acoustic guitar or one that it needs a huge band and a huge amount of production. So I think that's what we've achieved. Um, and you know, there's 25 songs written, and they're you know, I'm I'm so happy that all those all my influences are all those songs. You know, I can I can hear them and see, you know, visualise these influences. So, you know, for, on, a, on an artistic level, I'm extremely happy with it. Oh, that's great. That that's great. Sense. Yeah, it's really. Um uh, that's really good to, uh, for you to have that payoff, really, because it, it's, it takes a lot of work, doesn't it? A lot of time. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've worked. I worked 14, 15 hours a day for easily six months on this. Uh, the only time I, I didn't was when I was with my so, And, you know, I'd be in the studio at 8 in the morning and leave at 10, sometimes midnight, every single day. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a big commitment, but what, hopefully... Well, it's it's worth it just to have the songs written, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I think that's what it takes to uh, you know to explore one's art and music. You know, absolute dedication and focus, and allowing yourself to be totally consumed by it. No, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah, pers personally, when I when I hear this track. I can get a, an essence of um, Nick Cave and uh, Gary Newman, and yeah. uh, I, I do agree it's got a kind of a refreshing sound to it. And um, uh. yeah, I, I, I love the kind of um, retro electro sound. Yeah, which is, you, you, there isn't loads of that really around at the moment. Well, I think it more sort of lends itself to more urban sort of types genres that or pop you know out and out pop where you you know you can hear some of those influence of those sounds but not in the style of music that i'm doing it's normally you know anything that's rock based has got big rock drums and tom drums which i hate tom drums <laughs> so this is an, another spin on it that i think it gives it give it gives it a refreshing new sound really well, shall we? Uh, shall we play it? I think. I, th I think you should, Nick. Yeah. I think. I think I've, I lost, I've lost. I've lost the file. Sorry, <laughs> I can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> After that long. Yeah. Speech, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be, that'd well, just sound really good, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, imagine. Well, uh -huh. I hope, you know, I hope your listeners enjoy it, and uh, yeah, you know, if anyone wants to come and check us out, we'll be playing in Camden again in um, in July and. And there'll be, you know, other things are going to crop up over the next few weeks. So we've got a Facebook page and Tim Muddyman and the Strange and a Twitter and all that sort of stuff website, which is just Tim Muddyman and the Strange dot com. If anyone wants to check it out, that'd be great. Well, keep up with the good, uh, keep up the good work, yes. Tim. And yeah, thanks again for calling in. It's been a pleasure. Any time. Thank you very much, Nick. You take care. Cheers, fella. Bye bye. See, See ya. See ya, buddy. Bye -bye. 
So yeah, this this track is Wildwood Stone, and the uh, the record label is Gun Street Records. And so here we go, listeners. Enjoy. Wildwood Stone there by Tim Muddiman and The Strange. So yeah, um, if you want to get hold of that track, that is on um, Amazon, Spotify. If you want to keep in touch, well, sort of follow the band, they are online. They've got a website, Tim Muddiman and The Strange. They're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, and they've got a YouTube channel. So yeah, you should be okay to uh, to find them. But yeah, that, that, that track, I do love that guitar drenched riff right there and um yeah just watch this space because hey you know that's their debut and um i'm sure a lot more goodness will follow with their stuff so anyways i'm going to give you a little bit of news and then i'll be back very very shortly see you soon guys 91.8 local news update is your news i'm andrew stevens a motorcyclist